All right, we're uh, pretty much ready for floors. Floor guys coming in a couple of days. We're gonna do vinyl down here. I like vinyl flooring in a basement better because it ever gets wet somewhat. You don't, you don't have to pull it up like you do carpet. You can dry it out better. Down here, um, it's a concrete slab. There's some spots that my floor guy will skim over or there's like a high spot over here. He has one of them cup grinders. He'll grind it down a little bit. We got our base down. He'll put the vinyl floor, do, do what he does, and then we'll pre-paint quarter round outside and we'll come around, nail that in, caulk it, touch it up a little bit. We're not going crazy, everything's painted and the, ba the big base trims in. We just gotta put the quarter round down after he's done. Like I said, we got most of the paint and all that stuff that's gonna get a lot, a lot of mess done. We got touch-ups, but that's about it. But a lot of the other stuff's done, so that way we don't have to work over nice finished floors as much. He'll, he'll undercut the jams. You know, depending on how good my carpentry is, we might have to shave some of the doors. You know, carpet, if it rubs against the carpet, we might have to trim it down a little bit, it all depends. Trim the door down. Trim the door. Right. Um, up the steps here, we're gonna do a carpet runner. He's gonna, um, just to take a piece of the cut off and hem it or something, he said, and he'll do a runner. That's pretty much it for the basement. Mechanical room, we'll, we'll leave unfinished. We're not worried about that. Right. And that's pretty much it for the basement. So vinyl floor down here, and it's gonna match the vinyl flooring we'll talk about upstairs. Yeah. All right, same deal up here. Four guys coming, he'll skim this little spot up, you know, make it nice and flush. He'll skim this little spot down, just because it's like a eighth inch high. If he really wanted to, before he could put cabinets up, he could have planed it and would have made it a little bit better. I still would have skimmed it anyway. And we're so, doing same vinyl in this? Same vinyl. Flooring. Toe kicks, I left them off until he puts the vinyl flooring down and then I'll put the toe kicks down. Hopefully I won't have to put a piece of quarter round down. We'll still put quarter round around the rest of the trim. room, like the trim. Now. Yeah. You know, buy the fireplace mantle, depending on how nice he looks it up, makes it look. I might just silicone it or we might put a quarter round down and kind of glue it down and be gentle with it. We'll see what we, what we feel like doing at that point. Same with by the front door. We'll put it, have to put a piece of cord around down there. Carpet upstairs, up the steps, and then carpet for the little hallway and two bedrooms up there. And then over here. And then also down here, he'll run his vinyl, and then we'll probably just silicone it to this threshold. He'll be underneath the jam, obviously. Uh, then over here, we got two bedrooms. We'll transition the carpet. He likes to, he actually likes to get a piece of Schluter and put a piece of Schluter down, like a half inch Schluter. And it's like a nice transition instead of like those cheesy carpet by tile transitions. Yeah. You Is know. the light working there? No. No, there's not even a light up. No, but okay. the carpet, we won't have to put a quarter round down. It's thick enough to where, you know, it hides any defects in the floors or waviness in the floors. And the carpet will go in those two bedrooms right there. Yeah. And prep work, we just got all the spackle, all the junk off the nail, all the, you know, for the vinyl, you really want to be, you really want to get the stuff off, the spackle, the nails, the, the staples, all that stuff. Carpet, you can get away with a little, you know, less of a sloppy cleanup job because there's going to be a padding down and carpet, you won't really feel little bumps of spackle or, right. you know, if it's a nail, you want to get it up, but. So a lot of people in the beginning were asking, are we refinishing these floors? We were asking ourselves, are we refinishing these hardwood floors? You wanna talk about why we decided not to do that? Um, just because by the time you patch all the holes, you, you gotta work on these floors the whole freaking time. You know, you gotta keep them covered the whole time. You patch the floors. We had we, baseboard heat in here too. We had baseboard heat, like you got holes coming through the baseboard heat there. You have to patch them. Uh, this kitchen never had the, the hardwood in it. That's why we have that kind of. Yeah, it never had this. So we would have to patch all that. We would have to refinish it, we would have to restain it. By the time you do all that, I'd rather just pay a vinyl floor guy, right. come put a nice vinyl floor down, and it lasts a long time. And, and in my opinion, it looks pretty good compared to these these wood floors. It's some cheesy, like three eighths to quarter inch thick wood floors. Yeah, it sounds it's like not, super nice stuff. Yeah, it's not that nice. Uh, I don't like the color anyway. And to be able to change the color that much requires a lot of sanding. So, make our life easier. We went with the vinyl again. And it'll look and, nice. And for price wise, we ain't spending that much more. Right. You know. So, other than that. 
We're ready, we're ready to go. Hopefully next time we come back here, we'll have some vinyl floors down. Yeah, this is one of the last steps of the whole renovation process, right? Yeah, we got we got touch-ups, we got outlet covers. We might have a light or two. We're waiting for Steve tile forever to backsplash the tile. <laughs> Uh, do the backsplash. Uh, we got you know the kitchen faucet, stupid stuff like that. Yeah, but at this Big point, I mean, we stuff. put the floor down. You're not coming in here with dirty shoes and stuff. You know, you want to try to keep yeah. things as clean as possible. Or you at that put point. paper down. Right. Whatever. So. so I mean, that's the, another good thing about the vinyl. It clean, even we are still working in here a little bit. It cleans up real easy. Right. Um. So we're getting there, real close. Yeah, and always bring a vacuum after your carpet guys here. Oh, yeah. Because they don't vacuum the carpet after they cut it all up and there's shreds everywhere. <laughs> I've learned that. So all right. It. We'll be back in a few days. Hopefully, the flooring's done. All right. The floor went in and we uh, pre painted the quarter round. Te technically, this isn't quarter round. I don't know what you call it. It's like modern quarter round or a contemporary quarter round. But I actually like the way it looks, kind of. Yeah, it looks nice. We pre painted it, had the vinyl, had our trim and everything painted and nailed in and everything the vinyl guy came in put all of his vinyl put all the vinyl floors in yeah tell everybody what this is a vinyl floating floor clicked together um luxury vinyl blah blah, blah. this the, the the floor guy told me this had like a lot better wear layer so whenever you're picking vinyl floors especially if you're going to live there or live there for a while or whatever you want to check your wear layer because you know home depot has a lot less of a quality vinyl floor than like a flooring supply store. You'll see the price difference. Mm. He he says it's a very good wear layer. I don't know what it is, like 12 mil, I thought maybe he said something. Don't quote me on that. But this is the floor we have, it's Dorado. Dorado, Vivo by Dorado. Engineered stone polymer composite multi layered commercial residential flooring. I like it because it kind of gives it a reveal here, like a kind of make it look more like a hardwood, actual hardwood instead of like a if it's flat, it gives you a nice little. Yeah, mine doesn't have that. At my yeah, house. so I kind of like the fact that it does that, makes it kind of look better. And what does floating mean exactly when you say it's a floating floor, floor versus, I guess, non floating? Well, versus like a, a stick down or, or glue down floor, like this is, you know, it's not glued down to anything. It's all like basically one piece. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't get glued or nailed or whatever. It just clicks in and lays flat. Gotcha. Anyway, back to the quarter round. Like I said, we pre-painted it, nailed it. Uh, we pre-painted it with your uh, new fancy yeah. paint sprayer too. <laughs> that you liked, but. I thought it was all right. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it was all right. But did the job. Yeah, I think we got to get a little bit better at using it. Yeah, but well, it's a lot faster than brushing manually, like yeah. twenty of them. I have footage of me painting your court around at the Levittown house, and I think yeah. it took me like half a day. Yeah, it takes a while. And I painted the the court around here with that paint sprayer in like two an hour. hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, two hours. Yeah. I spent half an hour putzing with it. Yeah, uh, but anyway, we nailed it in. Rich caulked it. And then he got like the, the spackle paste that turns white and what what I'll have, and he filled the nail holes and caulked it with white obviously. And then I'll have him just go around with a small little paintbrush, you know, just touch up the top part where the caulk is because the caulk will get dirty real easily. Um, and then also touch up any spots where um, I got a pencil mark or anything or any end pieces that, I tried to get Rich to get me a, a paint marker, white, so you don't you don't have to color these end pieces. Now, normally on quarter round, I'll do like a 22 here, but I thought it looked a lot better with a straight edge with this contemporary look. So you have to, you know, either way, if you do a 22 or a straight edge, you got to paint, you got to pre-paint, or if to spray paint or pre-paint them or paint them afterwards, whatever else, you'll see the unfinished wood. We did that, and then you know, vinyl in here. We got carpet over here. You know, carpet in the bedrooms. My, my floor guy likes to do this, uh, like it's a Schluter reveal look. I don't know if it's actually Schluter or not, but it's it makes it look pretty sharp. To, instead of yeah, having I that, actually like this a lot better than that. Yeah, that, that hunky freaking transition they, they put in. Right. So it kind of flows right in with that carpet in there. Another thing that... No, oh, talk about the doors, why the doors aren't on right now. 
Some of them are catching. I didn't cut any of these ones down. So we'll just have to cut them down a little bit and then you know touch up with, with yeah. paint. It's actually kind of impressive how high up the carpet goes. Cause yeah. like- Carpet goes like an inch and a quarter. Yeah, it's pretty tall. Like we can't even get the door on right now. Yeah. So we got to cut those down. Yeah, we cut the ones down beforehand upstairs, but we're in such a rush all the time. We'll do it later. It's part of the touch up process. Or we just won't have doors. Yeah. Uh, another thing I want to mention, something like this here, I mean, my floor guy did a pretty good job at keeping the gaps minimal. You're not going to get it perfect, but you can't really put quarter round down here. You know, you won't really have much to nail to unless you want to try to nail down into the floor or something. And even then, I, don't, I wouldn't like the look of it against the stone. Yeah, that so we got um, tan silicone. We'll do a little tan silicone job on it right here. Right. Same with like where they meet the front doors. I mean, we put we were able to put quarter round down, but sometimes you can't put quarter round down on the front doors, depending on how high your door is. Uh, carpet steps, all carpet up and down stairs. I don't know if you want, you want to see it real quick or you want to go Yeah, let's take a quick walk. You know, carpet and obviously on this one we made sure our doors were cut high enough same with these he did mention once you get carpets in you got to keep the heat on or keep it you know above 50 degrees or 55 degrees um because the carpets will like to stretch and contract real easily until they set up over time i don't know that's what he said so carpet right into this job we went with a little bit of a like a lighter Kind of like a light brownish kind of. It's got like a speckle in it. A speckle brownish, something like that, just because. What did you say in the other video? Make sure you bring your vacuum. Yeah, yeah. You see, they don't, they don't, they don't bring vacuums with them. So mm -hmm. um, these things get all over the place. But we went with that color because it's going to be a rental property. I think it'll hold up over time better yeah. with the color and all. You get something like a white or something. You know, it's going to get dirty real easy. All right, let's go show in the basement real fast. So yeah, the basement, same thing. The quarter round at the bottom. Uh, he's gonna hem a, hem a piece of carpet for a runner up the steps. You know, I tried kind of going a little fancy with it, but it was probably just a waste of time. Um, <laughs> just because the steps are so narrow that by the time he puts a 24 inch runner on, there ain't gonna be a whole lot showing step, on either man. side. But I don't know, I just didn't like the, the vinyl to vinyl transition with a full piece of carpet. And I hate them, like them vinyl sternos are expensive and they they kind of look cheesy anyway. So that wasn't the next best solution. And I should have just carpeted it regular, regularly. Lesson learned. But yeah, so, oh, this is done. You know, quarter, quarter rounds in. Down here, we went with that back outlet toilet. So I had them vinyl first and then we'll put the toilet in obviously. Vanity, I put that on top of the vinyl floor. So as far as flooring in like the house flipping or renovation process goes, you want to do it as close to last as possible, right? Yeah, I mean, we're almost done. We got touch-ups, a couple outlets, appliances. So we can't do the quarter round until the floor is down, but we can. you do all the trim and painting before the floor is down. Do the floor and yeah, at this point it's just, what it, you know, appliances, you said, outlets. Yeah, I mean, even, even then we had most of that stuff done. Most of that stuff was done. It's just like faucets and stuff, mirrors hanging in the bathroom, yeah, closet just all racks. All kinds of stupid stuff. Odds and ends now, but touch up paint. Mm hmm. Because I don't touch up until after my floor guys. We use the carpet kickers yeah, like to hit your walls for some reason. Mm hmm. A couple weekends worth of uh, random crap to go. Yeah, it's the hardest part. Mm hmm. All right, well. Kudos to uh, Pat, the floor guy. He did a nice job yep. and uh, starts to look like a real house now.